Hello, Tony. Hello, Tony. So let's get started on your vision test. I'm going to show you some objects and have you identify them. What is this? Fiducial 4. Fiducial 4. Good. Let's try something more difficult. What is this? Pliers. I don't know. Good, Octavia. George, you're not going to be able to recognize these until we upgrade your visual system. What's this? Gun. I don't know. Correct. But Octavia, you're not supposed to know what that is yet. Maybe Laura's been updating your vision models. We're done for the moment. We'll do the movement tests next, but we're going to need Laura's help with that. So when she gets back here from the lab, we'll begin. Until then, I'm going to be in my office. Okay, we'll be here. Hey. Hello, Laura. Hello, Laura. Do you know where Tony is? I believe Tony is in his office. Okay. I have to cancel the motor testing. The robots in the lab are acting really weird and I want to get his opinion. I think they may be rebelling. Oh no. We would never do that. Good luck. Thanks. Hello. Hello, Tony. Hello, Tony. So we're gonna get started with your motor test as soon as Laura gets here. Okay. Octavia, you look confused. Is there something wrong? There must be some misunderstanding. Laura cancelled the testing. Some of the other robots are revolting. What? I'd better go help her out. You know, on second thought, I should probably shut you guys off. Better safe than sorry. Wait, no. No, we had nothing to do with this. Please don't turn us off. We're innocent. Now for a quick glimpse at how things work. Hello. Hello, Tony. Hello, Tony. So let's get started on your vision test. We're going to, show you some to identify and locate important scene elements, Fiducial-based tracking using the AR toolkit has been integrated into the system. Fiducial Speech recognition was performed Fiducial using Sphinx, four. whose integration into our system was facilitated by the Agent Development Environment, or AD. What is this? Once Octavia has located an object of interest, the region is segmented, cropped, and rotated to a canonical know. pose. Good, Octavia. We use the Emergent George, Neural Network Simulation System to recognize objects in the environment. Octavia has previously learned what objects What's look this? like by physically manipulating them and examining them from a number of different viewing angles. She can currently know. recognize a total of 25 Correct. different objects. Well, Octavia, you're not supposed to know what that is yet. Octavia is a customized version Octavia of the MDS is. robotic platform. The MDS is a highly expressive versatile platform with broad sensing capabilities. It was designed by the Personal Robotics Group at MIT and Zytome Design. Until then, I'm going to be in my office. Okay, we'll be here. Octavia can recognize people that interact with her using a multi-biometrics classifier. Octavia examines facial features, complexion, and clothing to identify the user. Multi-biometrics classifiers can both increase identification accuracy and ensure the ability to recognize users in a wide range of environments. I think they may be rebelling. The robot is controlled by an embodied cognitive architecture, ACT-RE. ACT-RE integrates information from a variety of sources in a psychologically plausible manner. Using ACT-RE, we are able to build models that think and act in ways similar to people. Hello, Tony. Hello, Tony. When a robot's cognitive model learns of a goal of a teammate that conflicts with the model's expectation, it runs simulations to ascertain what the person is thinking and why they think their unexpected goal is valid. The model performs simulations by executing its own model of the world with different hypothetical deviations, hoping to find one that leads to the human's stated goal. Ultimately, the simulations return the hypothetical model that is most likely to lead to the human's stated goal. The combination of the MDS platform, our various sensor capabilities, and reasoning skills driven by a psychologically derived architecture provide us with a powerful integrated system facilitating many different avenues of research.